Hey, what's up, guys? It's you guy here. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Covenant abilities coming into Shadowlands. Um, most of you maybe already made your pick. Uh, some of you don't know what you're going to pick. And I'm just going to give my personal opinion on each and every one and how they look and what I'm going to pick in the end. So, we're going to go over uh, the Curian Covenant ability. So, Kindred Spirits. Uh, form a bound with an ally. Every one minute, you may empower the bound for 10 seconds. Grant you the effect based on your partner's role. Grant to them an effect based on your role. Uh, as for us, it's... Um, um, energize your bonded partner. Grant them 30% of your damage as additional arcane healing or ab absorption. Um, this is uh, the balance. I I'm gonna be honest. I'm do I don't think this one is really particularly interesting, and it's not really that fun. And um, but it would be a great pick for people who want to play uh, more than just balance. I would say it's it's decent for probably decent for guardian as well as restoration and feral, probably. Uh, it's, Probably better for Guardian and Restoration, but I would not really recommend playing with it. Um, but yeah, oh, we got Lone Spirit as well, so it's pretty good. You know, uh, you increase your damage down by 10% for 10 seconds, so it's basically like a Incarnation's Flow. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So it's not bad. It's just not that really interesting. And for the signature ability, Summon Steward. Uh, Call of Steward to bring you a file of Serenity that consumes can restore 15% of your health and remove all curse, disease, poison, and bleed effect. Your Sword Edition offers access to a selection of useful eminence once per day. I'm not really sure what these are. Um, I'm not sure how useful they're gonna be. Gonna be. I don't know. It's, it's probably. Unfortunately, the worst uh, signature ability of all the Covenants. Uh, obviously, this is pretty good in PvP and stuff, but... Mm, I don't know. I don't really know. It's not going to be my first pick. Alright, the Vent Deer. Uh, Ravenous Frenzy. For 20 seconds, Druid spells you cast increase your damage, healing, and haste by 2% stacking. If you spend 1.5 seconds idle, the Frenzy overcomes you, consuming 3% of your health per stack, stunning you for 1 second, and then ending. So, uh, this one is pretty interesting. Um, it basically means that you're just gonna spam your spells, and you're gonna press Moonfire and Sunfire, and you're just not gonna stop pressing your spells, and you're gonna get a stacking debuff. And I'm not sure how high it gets. Uh, I think it's pretty high. And, but if you stay idle, if you don't cast anything for 1.5 seconds, uh, it's gonna stun you and you're gonna lose a lot of health. Uh, I think this one is gonna be probably seeming the best on patchwork, but I'm having a hard time seeing a reality where this will be very good uh, in terms of uh, raiding and Mythic Plus. In Mythic Plus it's gonna be very annoying for your uh, healer. And they're probably going to have to keep track, and you're probably going to tell them when you're going to drop down. Um, it's, it's an interesting... interesting. Um, uh, I'm not sure which class or which spec this benefits the most. Probably Feral, to be honest. Uh, restoration... Can't really see it happening. Uh, balance... Uh, it's not my go-to. It is not. Um, Maybe it seems the highest, maybe it doesn't, but don't go for sims, because in the end they're gonna be good and they're gonna be bad. Uh, you don't know, the start of expansion, someone's gonna be really good, and then it's gonna fall down in the middle of expansion, so pick what you feel benefits you the most. That's what I'm gonna say. The Covenant ability. Door of Shadows. Went through the shadows, appearing at a target location. So, if you guys haven't seen any videos of this, it's basically a teleport, a channeling teleport, or a blink. This is very good. It is very strong, especially for certain classes. 
balance don't uh, druids really don't have the issue of uh, mobility but it's obviously a very good uh, uh, ability so so consider that in mind is is very strong the nectar lord uh, adapt the swarm command a swarm that heals uh, for a sort of spell power or deals 100% uh, spell power shadow damage over 12 seconds so it's shadow damage um, increases the effect of repair effects by 20% of expiration jumps to a target within 25 yards alternate between friends and foe up to three times so I think this one is obviously pretty good I would say this one is pretty good it's a 25 second cooldown which is not very long um, however the jump to a target within 25 yards uh, it's random that's what I know right now. Maybe it works a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot test this because I don't have the beta. Um, this one is pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, increases the period effect. So it increases your dot damage by 20%. It's a very strong ability. It is. I'm not sure if it's going to be the best one. Really don't know. Uh, the signature ability is Fleshcraft. You form a shield of flesh and bone over 4 seconds. It's basically a shield. So, this one is pretty good for decent in PvP. Probably pretty good in Mythic Plus, I would say. You know, getting a, a shield. But, it's pretty much... I don't know. Too many cool out. 4 seconds shell. I think they changed this to make it instant. Or you can move while casting it or something. But yeah. So the Night Fae Covenant ability. Convoke the Spirits. Call upon Night Fae to uh, eruption of energy, channeling rapid flurry of 16 druid spells and abilities over 4 seconds. So, I think they changed this as well. Uh, I don't think you're gonna using, be using Thrash. Maybe if you stay in melee range, you will be using Thrash and Rake, possibly. But what I've seen... Uh, on a few of the new uh, videos, you basically spam Star Search, Starfall, Moonfire, and Wrath, and probably Sunfire too. I don't know, but you, you you basically become a cannon. So you would probably shoot out three Star Searches, maybe one Starfall, and a couple of Wrath during this um, four-second window. And that's pre it's 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 a really cool ability, I would say. At start, it was this looked terrible because it was basically like this. Uh, you would spam like um, a regrowth in the middle of everything, and you don't want to spam regrowth on a two-minute cooldown or rejuvenation pop out of uh, uh, druid form or whatever. Um, so this one looks pretty good, and it's gonna be my pick for the covenant abilities. Not only does it look very good for the druid. It seems really fun in uh, both PvE and PvP, and I think it's gonna line up pretty well with the Incarnation. We're probably gonna have to save it for Incarnation. I don't know. I haven't really been looking over the Simcraft. Um, yeah, so it, it pretty much changed it over here. So spells included every form. Okay, uh, Moonkin only form. There we go. So Star Search and Starfall. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Well, how this one works, but it, it looks really fun. And then I think on the ability is Soul Shape. You turn into a little fox. You teleport in 15 yards forward, increasing your movement speed by 50%. You may re reactivate Soul Shape every few seconds to teleport again. It's good. It's decent. Uh, we, and as I said before, we don't have really trouble with the mobility, so this one's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna check now on the early simcraft made by the dream rope so just give me a little sec and i'm gonna fix it for you and here we are so uh, it, it looks messy right now but the dream grove did a great job making this uh, early for us uh, obviously take a little bit of a grain of salt but this is how it is current so this is a covenant with the legendaries on one single target. I'm going to give you a link to this in the description below so you can uh, watch and look at it for yourself. So, currently seeming the highest is the Night Fae uh, Covenant with the Dream Catcher, basically the Emerald Dream Catcher. 
it's uh, you see here on one single target. And the Necro Lord, you see Night Fae is strongest on single target, which would be pretty much what we would guess looking at the um, the abilities, how they work. And this is the com uh, different uh, talents. You can see Fury Balloon, for example, is strongest on the single target. Uh, because a new moon is basically is coming there, it is uh, it's not that far behind. You're gonna need a little bit of more um, balancing. Uh, so this is the single. Target. I'm not gonna pick the Dreamcatcher because I did not really enjoy that uh, playstyle in Legion. Uh, the Pulsar, it's the um, you use Astro Power and you gain Incarnation after a while. And we can switch here to three targets, and you're gonna see that the Night Fae does drop. Let's go for five targets, and the Night Fae has dropped down pretty much uh, to Kurian is the best for five targets, uh, I guess. And it's going to be with uh, Nature's Balance, Incarnation, uh, Stellar Drift, and Fury Balloon. Uh, so, I mean, take this a little bit uh, as you wish. Uh, it's obviously going to... It's pretty much pick what you feel is the best for you, and... Um, I'm gonna pick Night Fae because I think it looks the most fun. It looks pretty cool on in PV, PvP. I'm sorry I didn't g give you guys any uh, play, uh, any any gameplay because I cannot really give gameplay. Uh, I can recommend watching some on YouTube. There are a few of covering these abilities. But yeah, so pick what what fits you the best. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Night Fae, and um, yeah, I see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.